welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i am going to explain you one more example of kcl this is different variation in the first video you have seen uh, how to solve a simple junction in the second video we have did some complicated junction where we have resistors where we have um you know like uh, voltages uh, current directions everything here we have resistor uh, we have voltages along with the current source also let us see how to solve the problem in this case like how to i uh, assume the directions and for watching this video i highly recommend you to watch the kcl uh, in i mean concept video the second example video and then this one because i am going to explain you this problem with reference to that problem okay i'll try not to do that but uh, yeah it will be clear for you if you just you know go through the both the things okay let's get into the video without any further delay so this when this problem is when the current source is given where is the current source here 6 amperes is the given current source you have to find the voltage across the two junctions in the circuit so first step what is the first step identify the junctions what are the two junctions that you have in this circuit this is junction a and this is junction b okay and at this junction let us assume the potential difference as va and here let us assume it as vb okay now what is your job you have to find out va and vb okay so first step you have identified all the junctions done second step is what you have to assume the directions of current right so if the direction of current is not given you have to assume all the currents in one direction and we are assuming it as outside like we are assuming that all the currents are outgoing currents okay here for this branch current is already given so leave it so for this branch let us assume it as i1 and outside for this branch um let us assume it as i2 and this is also going outside this branch already has current given along with the direction so you need not assume anything over and here for this branch let us assume it as i3 and the direction is again outside again for this branch also let us take it as i5 and the direction is again outside for here also sorry i4 here i i5 and the direction is again outside okay now that we have assumed the directions of all the currents now what we have to do also take initial voltage initial voltage v not is equal to how much zero okay now we can go ahead and apply our case here at both junction one and junction two so apply kcl at junction or node a so here what are the currents associated with junction a i1 6 amperes and i2 how do you write the direction what is what does kcl say current outside is equal to current inside right so what is what are the currents going outside i1 and i2 so sum of i1 and i2 i1 plus i2 is equal to what is this current coming inside 6 amperes 6 okay and uh, um, yeah let us uh, write the equations for i1 and i2 also so how do you define i1 as i1 it is going from va so that means va is at higher potential okay minus here what are the directions plus minus right so positive to negative that is higher potential to lower potential it is nothing but minus 4 divided by what one because the resistance over here is one now what will be i2 i2 is going like this it is going from va to vb that means va is at higher potential and vb is at lower potential because current always travels from higher potential to lower potential so va minus vb and in between do you have any other voltages no so divided by 2 is equal to 6 simple you have formed an equation for junction a okay in the same way let us form an equation for junction b as well at node b 
here we don't have any unknown current sorry but any given currents so we have assumed all the currents in outgoing direction only so you can directly write as i3 plus i4 plus i5 is equal to 0 which means how do you write i3 as i3 it is going from vb to va right that means it is going from higher potential to lower potential that means vb is at higher potential and VB, va is at lower potential that means vb minus va divided by what is the resistance associated here 2 plus i4 where is i4 here vb2 like this it is going so that means vb is again at higher potential because the current is starting at vb vb minus c here this is negative and this is positive right that means minus 2 positive it is coming that means it is still on the higher potential only the potential is not dropping yet so you will take it as plus 2 divided by what is the resistance associated here 3 plus next what do we have i5 i5 where is i5 here i5 again it is starting from vb right so again vb will be on the positive side only vb2 like this it is going this is positive and this is negative so it is coming from higher potential to lower potential which means vb minus 3 divided by what is the resistance associated Sorry. is equal to 0 so this is the equation for junction a and this is the equation for junction b now let us try to simplify these equations first i will simplify this one so for this one you will get lcm as what lcm as 2 so 2 va minus 8 plus va minus vb divided by 2 is equal to 6 which is nothing but 2 va minus 8 plus va minus vb is equal to 12. now let us simplify this equation also if you simplify this equation what you will be getting as lcm you will get 12 as lcm right so 12 means 6 vb minus 6 va plus 4 vb plus 8 and here 4 times 3 right 3 vb minus 9 is equal to 0 okay that means what you will get here on solving wait 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 so here you will get 6 vb plus 4 vb 10 vb plus 3 vb how much 13 vb minus va only here you have 6 va minus 9 plus 8 you will get minus 1 is equal to 0 okay so this is one of the equation and this is the other equation right from this equation and this equation this one you can write it as 2 va plus va is 3 va and minus vb and you can send this 8 also to that side you will get 20 okay this is equation 1 now this one minus 6 va plus 13 vb is equal to plus 1 if you send that one to other side so this is equation 2 now solve equation 1 and 2 i have answers for this guys for both VA and VB but I'm not sure that they are right I'll check it and I'll upload uh, the correct answers in the comment section or in the description box you also try to solve this equation solving equations is easy for you right you also try to solve those both equations and let me know what is the answer that you got in the comment section also so that we can tally with others answers okay so that's all for this video guys so if you just find out the values of e and vb you're done because that is the question right in the question they ask you to find out the voltage across two junctions which is nothing but v and vb okay so i covered three different problems for kvl and three different problems for kcl which almost covers of almost of most of the scenarios but still if you find difficulty in any problem try to use the same approach uh, in any textbooks or anywhere if you get new problems try to use the same approach and if you're still not able to get the answer reach out to me through my instagram or through my gmail i'll try to help you out okay thanks for watching the video till the end guys if you still have any video recommendations for me just let me know in the comment section thank you so much